Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome to your sixth intermediate game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're just going to quickly optimize the map um, thing that we made. So we're going to do the classic thing that we always do. We're going to have an X and a Y, and you guessed it, an X direction and a Y direction. There we go. Uh, now we have these. We can come work down here. Um, as we had all these nice little for loops here, but that considering that it loops through 500 different things every single time you press the button that is going to run kind of slowly so we're just going to have one thing up here we're going to have public void move um hmm. let's call it move map just to differentiate it from the rest and then we'll have the classic you know, private void set x direction int direction and then copy and paste that over change it to y x direction equals dir and y direction equals dir there we go so now in our thing here uh, if we pan up we want to set the y direction to minus one pan down set y direction to one, uh, pattern left, set y direction, well, wow, direction to minus one, and it's not the y direction, it's the x direction, and set the x direction to plus one. So we've got that set up nicely now. In our move map now, we can have our for loop with our rectangle. Rectangle R, loop through all the entries in the blocks array which is our rectangle array and we can say um, r.x which is the rectangle at that point plus or equals or rather add the x direction onto that uh, plus equals the x direction yeah that's correct and then we'll say r.y plus equals the y direction and if we wanted, we could add other things here to stop it from going too far or moving out of a certain boundary or whatever. But yeah, that's that's it for that little bit there. Um, in case you don't understand this for array, this for loop here, basically all it does is that this blocks array is our array of rectangles. And we match this up by putting a rectangle variable in there. So we just say rectangle called R, and then we use a colon and say what array we want to loop through. So this for loop will loop 500 times through, well, it loops through 500 because that's the length of the blocks array. It would be bigger or less, depending on your array size. It loops through every entry in um, that array, and at each loop, R is equal to that current entry at that point. So hopefully that made sense. And why have we got an error here? Because I spelt direction wrong. We can now come and call this in game update. If I come to game update here, we can add all of the game updates that need to happen here. So that would be world dot um, move map. Um, would it be that? Yes, it would be that. And then I can add the navigate map. Um, just to test it, I can add it to the key press thing. Um, if e dot get damn it key code equals key event uh, dot vk underscore left. This is going to take a while. Just copy this four times. Actually, no, we'll do this first world dot navigate map and then we'll access the things pan left if you press left etc we can copy this four times now change left to right pan right pan up pan up and pan down and pan down And it's occurred to me we need a way to pro to stop these from moving in the 
different x directions. So all we need to do here is um, we'll just make a simple method public void stop move map or whatever, name it whatever you want. Um, we can just set x direction or let's call set x direction to zero set y direction to zero and yes okay that's good and this can simply be called in key released world dot stop move map um, that stop move map method that I just made is a simple way of getting around it in reality we wouldn't do that because um, it's not the best way to do it but we'll fix that at a different stage so if I just run this now you can see it moves pretty fast because that's the um, way we programmed the run method so at least we have our tiles down now we, we know how to build maps, we know how to build tiles uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, I'm going to show you how we can sleep the thread depending on different times and actually it's hard to explain now, I'll explain it in the next tutorial so thanks for watching guys, please subscribe